Hello, and welcome to the 155th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and we're coming to you live here from Casa de Bruckert, where we're going to be having another outstanding beer right on the border of what they call world class. So today we're going to be having the West Mall uh, Trappist Ale Double. Okay, so we've previously done a uh, beer issues on the uh, trap, the regular Trappist Triple, but this is their double. Um, so we're going to talk about a little bit about the beer, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour it here. Now this is a Trappist Ale, so we want to get a nice uh, frothy head on there. Now we've talked about West Malt before being one of only 11 Trappists. And I think recently it went down to only 10 Trappist ales or Trappist breweries in the world. Cause um, one of the breweries, uh, I think it was last week um, because the uh, monks uh, weren't gonna be brewing beer there anymore, will no longer be considered a Trappist ale. So I guess that'll make it to where there's only 10 Trappist ales, uh, Trappist breweries in the whole world. So. We're having one of them today, and this is a great beer. Now, the beer is rated 93 out of 100, which makes it an outstanding beer, okay? But it's also the number three Belgian-style double in the world, okay? The only ones that are uh, rated higher are the, oh my goodness, I think it's the West Berlin. Uh, double and the uh, Unibrow uh, Modite, I think, was the other one. I know that was the other one, but I think the number one was the uh, uh, West Roulettin Double. Uh, but anyway, we're drinking a beautiful beer here today. So let's waste no time and let's go ahead and smell it. Okay, so right off the bat, it's not a really strong smell that you would expect from a beer that clocks in at 7% alcohol. It's very mild, but you get the the uh, caramel, definitely, and then you get the malty, and then you get, a, a, it, which is weird for a double, uh, like a fruity ester almost type of scent. Now this beer was originally brewed um, by the Trappist monks back in 1865. So they've been brewing this beer for a while. Now they did make a change to the recipe, recipe in 1926, where they double the ingredients to increase the alcohol content. Now the beer, this beer is um, uh, double fermented, but the first fermentation happens outside of the bottle, and then the second uh, fermentation happens inside the bottle, okay? So we're, dr we're drinking this beer out of just a single individual bottle. And the unique thing about the uh, fermentation process in the bottle, the larger the vessel or the larger the container, the better the secondary fermentation is, which will actually in the long run make it sweeter based on the size of the barrel or container. So a... 50 gallon barrel is going to produce a better beer than a 30 gallon barrel or a 20 gallon barrel or you know and so on okay so when you, you get it on tap uh and you know over there it's going to be a what they say it's going to be a better beer a little bit sweeter they even go down to break into the fact that if you buy it in a 700 uh, you know 750 uh, milliliter bottle versus one of the smaller ones, you're actually gonna get a better beer. So it's just something to think about. I mean, I always get, you know, the small bottles because uh, these Trappist sales aren't, aren't cheap. So, but I buy the small bottles so I can have one, enjoy it, and then have three left over because they come in four packs. It's where if I have one big bottle, I it's not a bad thing. I drink it all at once, but then I don't have any more. So. I tend to gravitate towards the smaller bottles because I can get more of them and have them more frequently. Uh, but I, I might have to, after reading some articles on this, I might have to try a bit, bigger bottle and see if I can tell the difference, uh, you know. But let's go ahead, let's waste no time here. Oh. 
Oh. Well, I'll be honest. Probably the, the best Belgian style double I think that I've had. I mean, I've had some good doubles, don't get me wrong. But the amount of the 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 Belgian yeast, the the caramel, yet yet there's a fruity sweetness to it without being overly sweet. It's actually uh, kind of dry, but the, the the strong quality Belgian yeast that they use in this. Mm. Oh, that is really delicious. Now, I really like the, the West Mall Triple also. And I always thought that, you know, you know have, given the choice, I would always go with the Triple because they make such an outstanding Triple. But boy, is this double a great uh, Belgian style double. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Um, I've had this before and apparently I forgot how darn delicious it is. Or maybe my palate has changed, uh, but boy, is this delicious. Mm. So you do get the, the caramel. You get a little bit of like a fruity, but there's like a, a peppery um, uh, taste in there that kind of blends with the with the yeast. And it's just, I mean, it's really just a beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, I can see why this beer is rated the, the third Belgian double in the world because this is, when I think of a good Belgian Trappist ale, this is what I envision. You know, the, the, the triple, their triple is one of my favorite triples, by the way, in the, in the world. Um, but now, just having this Belgian double, it is just so phenomenal and just packed with flavor and the complexity of the beer with the double fermentation it's just really just i mean spectacular um uh, now you, you're gonna have to like belgian trappist ales and know a little bit about belgian trappist ales but the the uh Belgian yeast that they use just really nails the flavor in this. It blends well with the, the uh, you know, it's not overly sweet. I would almost be really excited to try this one on tap, maybe over, you know, where, where they brew it. I would like to try it on tap because they're going to put it in those big barrels and it's going to bring a little bit more sweetness to this. Now, this doesn't have a ton of sweetness. This is going to be... Uh, even though it does have the caramel, it does have the, it, but it's got more of a, a peppery, you know, spice to it, along with that, that good Belgian yeast. Um, but boy, if they, if you had the same beer with just a little bit more sweetness due to the secondary fermentation, it could be even better. So now I'm really curious to try this in a larger bottle or really more if I can find it it's not gonna be easy to find on tap uh, because that secondary fermentation I believe uh, you know that they do in the bottle or the barrel uh, could lead to this being even better so it's rated 93 out of 100 in a bottle so I'm imagining that on tap this could be I mean I've never had the West Verlatton Double. I've had the Mod Eye before, it's good. I like this better. Um, but I might have to go back and visit the Mod Eye, the Unibrow Mod Eye, the Canadian beer that's a uh, Belgian style. I might have to go back and try that and, and kind of do a comparison notes uh, on why it might be rated a little bit higher than this, because this beer is phenomenal. It's absolutely delicious. So good. And the beautiful thing about it is the carbonation spot on. You get quite a bit of carbonation, but it's not like overly carbonated. Um, like some of the beers, um, I've always thought that um, uh, the triple Carmelet, they always over carbonated a little bit. Okay. Um, and 
I thought that for the longest time. Every time I ever had it, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's overcarbonated, it's overcarbonated. But a triple carmelate, if you ever take a triple carmelate and you hold on to it for a while, it gets better with time and some of that uh, um, carbonation kind of dies out a little bit. And it is a spectacular beer. I mean, it's, it's good, you know, fresh, but if you let it sit for a while, that triple carmelate just gets like unbelievably good. So this beer is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna have to try it in a larger container and see if I can tell the difference. Um, if they added that touch of sweetness to this, it could set it off to like, I mean, beer perfection. Although it's pretty close to beer, beer perfection right now. So if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about outstanding beers, almost world-class beers in the proper glassware. We do have a uh, West Mall glass here that we're pouring it into. Um, uh, so make sure you tell your friends about how much we're, fun we're having drinking beer and talking about beer. And if you want any cool uh, uh, gear, like this cool beer issues hat, uh, phone cases, shirt, t-shirts, things like that, go to shop.beerissues.com and there's all kinds of great gear. Um, and as my wife likes to say, I have Trappist beer issues.